Listen up, Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> he ate a cat here and it was flying in the air. Right? Listen up, Rangers! Welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve. My name's Arnaz. And today in this review, we have the SE Sponsors Godzilla Minus One. Which I actually really kind of want. Um, spoiler alert. If you guys want to pick this thing up, if you're not super into Monster Arts, the Super 7 also has one coming out. It's it not coming cheaper. out for a while, though. So if you want one, you want one right now, and you want it to look as close to the movie as possible, watch the video. I, or just watch it anyways, because we're very enjoyable people to hang around with. Anyway. I, I, I'm honestly going to pick up the Super 7 just because it's a lot cheaper. But that's just me because I'm cheap bastard. Yeah, I like Monster Arts, and so far, um, Monster Arts is dead to me for the Legendary, but everything else is fair game. <laughs> why, why Legendary? Because they don't paint anything. Yeah, they do. Our last Kong was amazing. You mean the one he hit with the baseball bat? <laughs> <laughs> That's why it was that great. One? Uh, check out, if you haven't checked out our, uh, the, uh, Hammer videos, You're that's right. a fun one. We, we have That's blast. probably one of my favorite ones. No, my favorite one's the one we ran over with the car. <laughs> oh, that, yeah, that one was good. The X Plus was fun. We literally ran over a NECA figure with a car. It was I awesome. I the Dominus was pretty fun, too. The Dominus one? Yeah, that was pretty good. I had to take that one out back. Like yeah. a good old yeller. Anyways, the main reason I got this is I loved Godzilla Minus One. It's easily my favorite solo Godzilla movie. Not my favorite Godzilla, per se. Like Just I, a Godzilla movie. But movie-wise and solo movie-wise, it was my favorite. I still like Shin better as a monster. Second. I, I like 98 movie. That was a good solo Godzilla movie. You know what? Nothing contends with 98. We, it's just like... There's, you, there's only certain things that you can rate together, and 98 is just above ratings. You know how there's like <laughs> E, uh, like F, E, you know, D, C, A, S rating, and then there's the double S rating? That's where it's It's just like you don't talk about it. It's like when you say like the angel's ton and then your head explodes, that's where Zola's at. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we just lost like 10 subscribers. It's okay. But I, this is, I don't get the hate for him. I like him. I think he's cool. Now we're going to get a bunch of people be like, well, it's not a Godzilla movie, but it's a cool movie. No, it's a Godzilla movie, and it's okay to be a Godzilla movie, because it was unique and original, and I enjoyed it. He still has the best insurance around, I'm just saying. Right? Technically, he, spoiler alert, he was still stronger than Godzilla 2023, because it only took one plane to kill him. Well, it took two to kill Zilla. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, there's, and what, six missiles? Yeah. Yep. So, granted, he got hit by tanks and all other stuff happened in the movie, so la 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 la, but still. Okay, so just say it, just say it. So now we're down to like 20 subscribers. Okay, do go on, Steve. Well, still, it's technically the most, uh, probably one of the, the uh, scariest Godzilla's because it can, multi like, next to Shin, because that Shin at the end of the movie showed that it can duplicate. Yeah. And again, it was evolving in order to do that. Well, Zilla already did it. And would they all would grow to be its size. So if it got to do its thing. Can you imagine, like, what did they say, 600 eggs? Just 600 Zillas running around? Yeah. <sighs> and I want to hear that argument of, like, well, he's still weak in 2000, Godzilla, two, like, legendary, blah, blah, blah. He almost died by elbow drops. <laughs> 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 so... <laughs> but it was the people's it's elbow. It's movies. It's the Muto elbow. And Mel Muto just like. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're getting really off track. Okay, box. Looks amazing. I love it. Yep. Technically, I guess this is the front of the box where you get the nice image on the front here. It's got the logo. The back, if he was in it, you'd be able to see him right there. But it does show you there kind of what it could do. Nice image on the side. Nice image on the side. And some legal bumper jump on the bottom. Anyways, we already got him open up out of his cardboard prison because I couldn't wait around for it. And I was going to have Arnaz come over to do the video and then my... Uh, Steve got sick. Yeah, the whole hospital thing happened. So. It's, a, it's like a perfect like combination because it's like 
Christmas, New Year, and then Steve's anniversary all like in one. So there's like a span of two weeks where Steve just doesn't do anything. And then he got the... Yeah, and then I was life. still trying to do stuff. <laughs> Which was the worst. Oh, the worst thing that happened the day before my anniversary. So like one... It kicked over my anniversary. I was still in the hospital. I was going to go get some sushi. And now I haven't gotten to go get sushi. Makes you feel better? I'll go get sushi just for you, Steve. I was going to say, I can still have it. I just can't have the tempura one that I really like. That, that's the best one. It is the best one. Oh. So they have this tempura one with calamari in it. Oh, it's got a little jalapeno on top. And that was already bad enough because spicy stuff, like, if I eat spicy food. It kills you. Yeah, it just, like, if it, like that bit alone makes me feel like I'm having a heart attack because the way my indigestion is, it doesn't cause heartburn. It just hurts. So I don't do it. <laughs> Feels like somebody kicked me in my stomach and I get a pain here. So I don't eat it. Unless I have a bunch of antacids beforehand. Getting old sucks. You know that? It does. Because his knees hurt. My knee hurts. I was doing word labor today. My back's Now my back hurts. Don't worry. I'll give him a I don't even want to talk about this. That's from marriage. You know, to be fair, before we got married, I did have a lot more hair. See? <laughs> also, that was 11 years ago at the exchange, but I digress. Anyways, now we got Godzilla open up off its cardboard prison. First and foremost, this thing looks amazing. It is. Uh, okay, so I've seen few reviews of this guy, and they were all negative. Like, people were pissed. And Same with Facebook. I saw some people. I, I saw when, like, the initial photos of this guy coming out, when, like, people were getting the photos from, like, toy shops in japan and getting like those it like the photos almost kind of look like you're trying to take pictures of sasquatch yeah and it's not like it's a little blurry but you get enough detailing and people are freaking the fudge out that the, it, the colors are wrong and blah 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 and oh my god the, okay the eyes may still be an issue we'll get into that. steve said this in a last review every figure that comes in has its problems and you most likely will not have those problems, but some people do get the problems. And they judge that entire figure on that one issue they have. I know some guy, I've seen it, he got it. This one was broken. I will He's say like, that's probably one of the scariest things. Again, we'll get into it in a minute. Um, because his th his spines are, like, laughably thin. Yeah. And it's kind of been a thing recently, because, like, Guy Game was kind of the same thing, where, like, the back pieces of it were super terrifying. Um, the 91 Godzilla, not so much, but it's just kind of the nature of the kaiju and the materials that they use. So it looks really good, but if you want to mess around with it, you want to mess around with it from the front. You don't want to be anywhere in, in this general battle. region with your hand because more than likely you're probably going to damage something. This guy would not survive a shelf dive. No. And the guy got it, pulled it out of box, First thing that was broken on there, he's like, oh, this, oh, don't buy this. This is trash, blah, blah, blah. Sits there for like next 15, 20 minutes, bashes the figure just because he got a broken one, you know? Yeah, which sucks. Like, it should have been something. It's understandable. Yeah, it's, it's stuff that can happen. Like, did it break in shipment? Did it, was it at the factory? Did wherever you get it from, was it broken before they even shipped it to you? There's a lot of, a lot of things that could happen in there. Um, and then, like I mentioned, this thing, it's kind of like glassware. Like, having worked retail, where you get four or five boxes, there's bound to be a broken glass or two in there. Yeah. It's kind of the same thing with this. Just saying, don't judge a figure just be, you know, by one review because somebody got a bad figure. That's all I'm saying. But anyways, um, the one thing I was going to get at was a lot of people were complaining about the coloring. And to be honest, I think it looks pretty spot on for me. Uh, but anyways, we'll zoom in for a closer look at the details. So as you guys can see here, it's got... A very dark, almost black undertones with some brown dry brushing over various sections of it, which seems very accurate for me for the movie because when you see him, it's, it, it's kind of scene dependent. So, Jesus. Something scratching at the door and I don't know if it's the dog or the ghost. I don't think they specifically say what scene this figure is from. Oh, it's the wife. Even worse. Just sell it on eBay, Steve. So the way the paint job is, is it reminds me of a lot of the more like water scenes, more so than when he's rampaging through the city. Because the way the coloring was in that is it was very brown tinted to begin with. 
That's what I was saying. They didn't technically say what scene this is from, right? So it could be from anywhere or any time in the movie. Yeah, because I would imagine for this one, I know they do a lot of, like, the figures have, um, like, they get sculpted. Yeah. While I know, like, the Super 7 has the 3D file, but they probably had access to it, so maybe the way the coloring was in the 3D file is the way the coloring is for this. So, like I said, I don't think it's personally bad. I actually really dig it because the way it's painted currently, it actually shows off a lot more detailing, I think. More so than if the thing was just, like, all brown all the time. It does. Where that, it kind of blends a little bit. Because now he has, like, look at him. He's got, like, little eyebrows. And they're very predominant. Which is something I remember from the movie. He does. One thing is, is his eyes... Are a little wonky. If it focuses, mine are a little... It's not the worst Googles I've ever seen. No, I've seen some real bad online, though, I'll be honest. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's probably the one major complaint I've seen, outside of some people at the paint job, is the eyes, which is kind of just a Monster Arts problem in general. Because the 91 could possibly have googly eyes. My 2003... My, me, personally, I have a googly eye 2003. Hey, isn't that your worst one? Yeah, that's the worst one I have. Shins... Yeah. Kind of meant to be googly, so I don't. That one I don't mind. <laughs> that one kind of works out, so you can't complain. Yeah, like it. if they're straight, I'd almost be more bothered than anything. <laughs> same with um, 54. 54 is kind of in the same boat. Yeah. So especially with the smaller eyed kaiju's, it's a thing that could be a problem. But like I said, for mine, it's not super distracting. Honestly, I think it's more of the way the sculpt is. It makes the eyes kind of not seem lined up you think so more so than it just being straight up google because they almost see because when you look at it from side to side it looks like it should be right but then when you see it from the front it's it seems wrong he's looking the wrong directions i think my favorite thing is just the mouth the mouth looks super clean like especially with the teeth look really good but yeah like i said the detailing on it was really nice like especially look at all the protrusions coming out of this thing i back. love it look at like even his thighs are uh, have spikes on him well not spikes but like they stick out further than any other godzilla and yeah he's kind of like a shin godzilla legendary and heisei all had a baby together i love it because i think he reminds me sort of of legendary but it's not legendary it's close to shin yeah it's kind of like you have like shin's lower body you have a more Heisei top, and the spines are kind of like a mix between Shin and Heisei. But then the way the scaling reminds me a lot more of Legendaries. Yeah. So it's kind of like you get like the, a little bit of, I wouldn't say the best of everything, because honestly, I, I still really like Shin's little tiny arms and the giant cranium. <laughs> <laughs> like, I like how unnatural it looks. It looks unnatural, but it fits. Yeah, it's still you know? like, it's Godzilla, but it's like, yeah, it's almost, it's but it's like 98, where it's like so obscure, it's like so much detached from the original look. I think that's why we like it. <laughs> yeah, it's the thing, though, I, I like it when people just like take chances, like even the new, like the, the new Godzilla versus Kong, because a lot one? of people are hating on it, but I'm like, at least it's different. Yeah, that's what people were like in uh, while I was streaming game. People were like complaining, like sort of complaining about it. But I'm like, you're gonna hate me for this, but I think until I see it, I can't judge it. And from what I've seen right now, it's different and unique. If anything, I think the new monster looks dumb. The <laughs> thing? No, I'm actually okay with no that other the spoiler one. I'm not gonna fully go into it. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, that stupid looking thing. Yeah, we're just yeah. like, yeah. We don't I mean, talk about that. It's, there's a lot of this movie where I'm just like, eh. I'm, again, I don't have to wait to see the movie, but I'm just like. My only, fingers crossed, my only prayer for this movie that it sort of turns out like a monster battle royale like King of Monsters. There's and supposed, to be, a lot, there's supposed to be like a 10 minute monster fight. And I'm hoping that that is the only aspect that saves it. Would be cool. Anyways, you guys are here for this guy. Also, the tail looks really cool. I also like too that with the dorsal spines. It goes from the top. Yeah. It's got a weird bend to it. And then they're also just like, they stick up higher than most of the other Godzilla, especially towards the tip of the tail. Now, I'm actually really excited to maybe see them do a Spitfire version of this with the the spines coming up. Although, you know, it would be really cool is if they made it where the spines could shift up and down. Like, oh. you could pull the spines up. Like how... Um... How one of the... What's that one Godzilla that you have that actually, like, lights up and everything? 
God, I forgot which one it was. There's a few. Casey really likes that 2014 that barfs out the beam when you bend its legs. That's her favorite toy. <laughs> uh, but they need to make one of the minus one where you like do something and the spines will light up and they pop out on their own. Yeah, it'd be cool. Oh, yeah, like a triple K? Yeah, the tri that yeah triple K, that's the one. That's yeah, the one. that'd be sweet. Um, but until then, I guess I'll shill it now because by the time this video comes out, I'll probably have these up on the Etsy. But I actually made them a beam. And then I also made it actually have this little cotton. Uh, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have grabbed this one. Because this one, uh, <laughs> I was doing photos because I also made a nuke. Oh, is that what that thing is on yeah, the floor? Yeah, that's what that is for. Because I needed, I wanted it for the photos for the Etsy, and then I made a video of how to make it. So oh, that's, that's why there's a little bit of cotton on it. But anyways, uh, so this goes into his mouth. I even made a little groove on the bottom so his tongue could slide oh, in. Oh, look at that. It actually fits in there. Yeah, because the way it looks in the movie, it's like a beam, but then it has like a little fiery yeah, extensions out of there and then i wanted to make it because there's there's no realistic way of doing the mushroom cloud without making your own thing or me like trying to 3d print a mushroom cloud which would not be very cost effective so no. i thought it'd just be cool to have the little bloom on the end to kind of make like a, the mushroom cap like an impact yeah yeah so these be on the etsy uh that's the other 17 bucks if you guys check out uh either of the instagrams because arnaz runs our page instagram my personal instagram i also have these on there but i do i do them usually for uh 20 shipped uh but etsy they end up being oh look at that we're at five thousand, almost 700 i think 23 after shipping after paying for everything so it's cheaper if you just bug me on uh instagram but you can also do it through there oh we just lost the audio why do we lose the audio uh <laughs> guess i'm using camera audio for this one <laughs> These mics are amazing, but they're so temperamental. You touch it just once and yeah, boom. Yeah, I think I gotta reboot the laptop, which I'm gonna do after we do this video. Anyways, for its articulation, the mouth opens very nicely. Head. Uh, one thing that's cool is these spines actually move. <gasps> Shut the front door, did it really? Yeah, so these ones can shift. Oh. And I think. Some in the back should too, because of the tail, right? I thought I remember seeing something move back here. I could be wrong. That is amazing. I can't believe they got the ones right there. Nope, Maybe it. just Steve's moved. <laughs> okay, I thought I, I thought I remember something, but I guess not. But these do shift around, and this is so when you're moving the neck, the spines don't get in the way of the other one. So you can shift these upwards to get them to look up higher. See, these are all the little things that add up to the price that's not on the normal Monster Arts figures. It's stuff like that. Yeah, know? well also that it has articulated toes. Yeah, like, what the heck? Like, that's amazing. Like, does it need articulated toes? Probably not. Do I think it's cool? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because now you can, when you get them into a walking pose, you can actually, like, really get them into a nice walking pose. Instead of, well, he's kind of flat-footed, so you just... You deal. You have to shift on him. It might look a little awkward. Well, this guy, you can really get him into the nice, like, almost dinosaur walking poses. But head goes up really nice. Goes down. Eh, about that far. Head. A little bit of a wiggle. Nothing too crazy. Can look side to side. The rotation at the chest. Legs go. Our chest yeah. and down by that far up by that far a little bit and eh, not much of a rotation to be honest i'm kind of terrified to rotate the same because of the way the spines are i don't Can want you to imagine clip. if you were to like clip it and break it oh i would be so pissed yeah so again it's one of those like i just be very wary enter at your own risk yeah the arms got really nice range of motion can't go quite all the way around but you get a nice rotation, same with that, the elbow. I also forgot to mention, he's got these little spiky protrusions on the elbow. Well, not just that, like even like at the back right here, look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, you can see it kind of there. He's talking about this right here. But it's something that, like, this almost kind of reminds me more of Gamera than anything. Yeah, it's like the turtle shell. Well, even because he has those little elbow blades on the Heisei one. 
Does he? Yeah. Hey, Why couldn't Mudo have hey, that stabs, when he... Uh, stabs Legion with When him. he elbowed 2014, he would have just ended it right there. Yeah, he's the, got that, uh, like, diver, <laughs> diver blade going on. But for the legs coat, quite a decent outwards. Inwards. Oh, now this leg's stuck. There we go. About that far. Really nice... Actually, really good forward and back. Legs. Solid bend there. Again, articulation at the toes, so they shift around. The feet can also shift forward and back. And then tail, also very poseable. It's also pretty stiff, at least on this one. So it really holds a pose. And you can also hear the oh. <laughs> joints just grinding on each other. Hey, we're quick comparisons. Here we have the Godzilla Minus 1 from SH Monster Arts compared to some other SH Monster Arts Godzilla figures with the 91 Godzilla and the Earth Godzilla figure. And here it is with some more SH Monster Arts Godzilla figures with the Rebirth Godzilla and Shin Godzilla. And here it is with some larger Godzilla figures hanging on my office with the Haya Godzilla 2021 and the uh, Super 7 San Diego Comic Con Bloody Mouth Godzilla. And here's some Playmates figures from Godzilla X Con with the Scar King and Doug. And then for some random comparisons, here we have them next to some NECA action figures with the Xanatos from Gargoyles and. Uh, I forget the official name that it said on the box. I'm just going to call you, you uh, Kaiju. <laughs> call you the Foot Training Kino. All right, so overall for the Minus One Godzilla, he's dope. All I got to say is, yeah, I love this figure. That is $140 dope. See, this is where I feel like I could justify paying $140 because the, uh, the 91 was $100, right? Yeah. So this guy's $40 more, but this guy has movable dorsals. You know, details like the elbows, his toes move. I feel like there is more to him than just the 91. Yeah, and even uh, in comparison, if you want to get them next to each other, the minus one's actually bigger too. So I feel like I could justify paying 140 but Maybe just because I like this figure. I could be biased, you know what I mean? Honestly, I think it's, to me, it's... Uh, I don't know the best way to word this. It's high. Like, I would like to have paid a little less. Like, I think if he was about the same price as Gigan, I would be a little happier. But then again, I thought Gigan was maybe a little high. So, yeah. But then again, it's like all action figures are kind of getting more expensive. And even some of those are like, I like them, but... It's, it's the, the prices are starting to wane weigh on me a little bit. That's why I said I'm going with Super 7. <laughs> it's like with like collecting like the Power Rangers and Star Wars stuff. Like Once they start getting a 25, and then a figure that would have been in the normal line is now a deluxe that's in the 30s. Uh, starts starts way on your budget. So for this guy, I would say if you, you already collect Monster Arts, definitely a buy. Because he's probably just going to go up in price. Yeah, like once it sells out, it's going to be hard to... Yeah, I imagine it's going to get more and more expensive. Um, if you're not that into Monster Arts, the Super 7 is for pre-order right now. That I would say would maybe be the way to go. Because currently with Super 7, they've been doing a lot better with their action figures. Yeah. And then also with um, that one in particular, it has the 3D file for the actual movie, like we said. So that one will... Should look like Godzilla. Is it going to be painted right and shiny? That's going to be hit we'll and miss. We'll wait and see. <laughs> but for the price point, it's still going to be like... it's. It'll feel... I can sorry. It'll weigh more than this and be bigger. So the price seems more valid. This just feels more expensive because... It's, it's kind of weird because when something feels more fragile, it makes me feel like it's more expensive. Yeah. This guy feels dangerously scary. It's mainly like the spines. Like, I have to, especially when I do work on these videos, because sometimes I'll sit him on the chair we're here while I'm doing photos, and i got to make sure he's standing upright. In a proper position, not being able to fall over. Yeah, or something's not going to apply too much pressure to these things, which is where you're going to have a really bad time. But if you'd like to pick them up for yourself, link in the description for Entertainment Earth, or if you'd like to get the Super 7 for pre-order, uh, help support the channel and get yourself sweet collectibles. Anyways, help us defeat those kaijus by hitting the like button. Subscribe to Kermit new. I also got Instagram, Patreon, Pinterest, Facebook. Guys, I'll keep up the day with you. Donate. Greatly would appreciate it. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.